We're talking ball. Presented by Duncan as General Manager John Robinson joins us. Glad to have you with us again. I want to start by talking about a couple of young guys who continue to improve. Linebacker David Long, let's start with his performance so far this year. What have you seen from number 51? Yeah, I mean, I think he's got an opportunity to, to go out there with some, you know, because of some injuries, and, and he's maximized that chance, Mike. The thing that I'm probably the most impressed with David is his communication. He's really taking charge out there with, you know, working to get guys lined up, get them in the right spot. He's always had a nose for the football, and he runs around and plays hard. But the communication piece for him has really been impressive. He's gotten better every year. He has. You know, it, we, we talk when we have the off-season meetings, like here's things you need to continue to work on. And to his credit, he works extremely hard during the off-season to prepare himself to play. It's hard to not be a fan of a guy like Jeremy McNichols, who's battled his way onto an NFL roster and now has a role in your offense. Yeah, I mean, he's he's played on about seven or eight different teams. Heck, we've cut him once, and he went to Jacksonville, and we got him back off our practice squad. But, you know, he's a guy that that finally stuck to the plan. You know, the, the NFL uh, career, it's it's a Kirby road sometimes. He knew he, where he wanted to end up. You know, he's bought into what we've asked of him, whether it be on special teams, be on third down, punching in on some of those sub runs. You know, we've got to spell Derek. Uh, but has really worked hard, accepted his role, and worked hard to be good at it. All right, the opponent this week, Jacksonville, Got to start with the quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. What do you see? Big, strong, talented, athletic. You know, there's a reason why he was the number one overall pick. He's gotten more accustomed to the pro game. You can tell he's getting a little bit more comfortable in the pocket back there, uh, developing a little rapport with his you know, supporting cast. And we'll have to do a good job of getting him off the spot and trying to create some uh, confusion for him. Hard not to like Jacksonville's running back, James Robinson, the second year man out of Illinois State. Yeah, an undrafted guy who kind of burst onto the scene last year, you know, he, and he really maximized his chance there in Jacksonville. He's a sturdy runner. He's stable. Uh, he runs between the tackles well. He's got good vision. He's got good instincts. He's got a nice short burst through the, you know, through the line. Catches the ball really well out of the backfield. He's certainly one of the top backs in the league. John, as you look at the statistics, Tennessee offensively and defensively, very impressive in a lot of categories. For you to be more successful overall, is it just simply about refining execution? Yeah, it's it's those it's those plays during the course of a drive, Mike, that you don't execute this properly or a stunt get, doesn't get executed the right way on defense or there's an alignment issue or there's a penalty. There's something that comes up. We've certainly proven that we can get into drives, we can move the ball down the field, we can score touchdowns. Defensively, we can stop people. Even when putting it put in weird situations after a turnover, whatever it may be, we can take the field and we can get stops. And it's those details and continuing to refine those details and the execution of those details throughout the course of the game, which has allowed us to be successful in the games we've won.